Hello, welcome to the AlcoBuddy calibration video. The first step in calibrating the AlcoBuddy is creating the solution. The solution consists of one gallon of water and a tablespoon of 80 proof alcohol. Once you've created the solution and thoroughly mixed the solution, the next step is to fill the AlcoBuddy calibrator, which we provide to you halfway. Now, we are going to recreate the temperature of the human breath. We are going to do this by heating the solution in the microwave. The goal here is to get the solution anywhere from 93 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that the solution is created, I'm going to show you how to put the AlcoBuddy into calibration mode. Now that we're inside the machine, let me show you how to put it in calibration mode. On the main electronic board, there are nine blue dip switches located on the left side. We're going to switch nine on, like this, I'm going to switch five off. Now the machine is in calibration mode. That's nine on and five off. The goal to calibrate the Alco Buddy is to get the reading anywhere from 0.33 to 0.39. If we blow into the machine with the solution and it reads higher than 0.39, for example, 0.51, then we know that the solution is too high. To adjust this, we're going to go in here. There's a brass screw located on the blue rectangle. We want to turn it counterclockwise if the reading is too high. We'll do that one full revolution. Now the screw is sensitive at times, so you may need to do this several times to get it exact. For example, if the reading blew lower than 0.33, say a 0.21, then we need to turn the screw clockwise. So if the reading is too low, we want to turn it clockwise. If the reading is too high, we want to turn the screw counterclockwise. Now I'm going to show you the final step for the calibration. Now that we've created the solution and we've put the machine in calibration mode, let's start the machine up. Okay, you'll see here that it'll flash calibration. There it is right there. All right, so every time that we're in calibration mode, there's a 10 second countdown, as you can see. We're gonna miss the first one, but you'll continue to blow as many times as necessary. So, our solution here is at 99 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's perfect. So what you're going to do is we're going to hook the tube up to the nozzle on the front where you normally place the straw. Okay, so no one blew in there, so it came up zero. Alright, so we'll just wait for the next countdown. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give a nice thorough blow for a few seconds. So as you can see, 10 seconds is counting down, so I'm going to get ready to blow in to the machine. Okay, as you can see, it came up 0.26, so it's a little low. So I'm going to adjust it on the screw back here. I'm going to turn it clockwise about half a revolution, and we'll see if that does it. Okay, so we'll wait for the next 10 second countdown, which is right here. Hook up the tube, get ready to blow. Alright, perfect. As you can see, we hit our range, 0.33. So in that case, it flashes green, and it also will show up end. So that means that it's saved and now the machine is calibrated and ready to go.